Living True Channel, Living True Channel, how you guys doing today? Alright, alright, sound like you guys are doing blessed. Sound like you guys are doing blessed. That's always a blessing, you guys. That's always a blessing. Never let the enemy, never let the devil, never let Satan take your joy, you guys. Living True Channel, today's episode, we're just going to be getting into a near-death experience from our brother in Christ, you guys. And I also would like to say, you guys, never let nobody tell you something is impossible. They will try to take your, your stride, take your courage to do something that they feel like they couldn't do. They're going off what they feel they could do. If they say, if you tell them, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to go mountain climbing, I'm trying to do something that's out of the ordinary, they just telling you that's impossible because that's how they feel if they tried it. You... And them are two different, two different people, two different individuals. So that, so with that being said, you guys, what you could do is probably far more than they could do, or vice versa. And also remember, nothing is impossible with Jesus Christ. Nothing is impossible. The word impossible says itself. I'm possible if you break it down, you guys. But let's get into this near-death experience, you guys. With no further ado, love you guys. Traveled from Montana up to Alberta, Canada to ice climb on a world-famous ice pitch. At 8 o'clock that night, the temperature dropped drastically. Since we had no equipment to keep ourselves warm, our best bet for survival was to try to get off the mountain. It was 150 feet down. We, we repelled in the air on this overhang to a large area. We were stuck. And I was cold though, and I'd never been that cold. And I had frostbite in my fingertips and my nose and my toes and my cheeks and my chin and, and I had hypothermia. And 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 then I, I fell asleep. And 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 only this time I didn't lose consciousness, but I knew that I had fallen asleep and and, and I felt myself being sucked out of my core like a vacuum and I resisted with all the strength that I had that I had built up through the survival journey that I was on and I tried to stay in my body and I couldn't it, it irresistibly pulled me out and I died and I found myself in a great dark void infinite without a body but with full consciousness, like a, like a, a sphere of, of consciousness. And, and in front of me, if I had a front, was this gigantic door. And the door was 30 yards wide and 70 yards tall, and it was a, the proverbial tunnel that people talk about was through this gateway. And I said, am I dead? And the voice of God, with no voice and no language, said to me, yes, you're dead. And I said, but I haven't gone through the door yet. And, and the voice of God said, no, you haven't. I said, well, do I have to go through the door? I have this sister, you see, that left our family and broke my mother's heart. And I didn't want to break my mom's heart again. And die and leave them. And God said and showed me, showed me, he said, the, the love with which I love you now, I have always loved you. And that same love that I love you with now, I love your family and I love each person on earth with this fullness of love and forgiveness and knowing and mercy that you feel right now and beauty and all will be well and your family will be okay. And the next thing I knew, I was being screwed back into my body like, a, like an ice screw that you used to put into the ice to hang on. And it was painful and it hurt. And I got driven into my body from my stomach. And I, I came to and my partner, Tim, had me by the shoulder. And he was, he was screaming at me, don't die. Don't leave me here. And uh, I kept my mouth shut about what had happened for close to 20 years. And now I'm telling this story because 
what it's left me with is that I know that I'm known and I know that I'm beloved and I know that you are too and everybody is and I know that this is not the end of life that this is just the passage through to real life and it's this long and that's how much time we have till we get to go home and I'm waiting to go home I pray for it every day I can't wait Wow, that was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. There is life on the other side. Lemon True Channel, I love you guys always. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I will be getting back to you guys later on. You guys have a blessed, blessed day. Love you guys always. Like, share, comment, subscribe, you guys. One love.